Hi, I'm Eric Paul, the Chemistry Guru, and you are watching H2 Chem Hacks, making H2 Chemistry simpler, one video at a time. Hi, in this video, we'll go through the concept of salt hydrolysis. Now, in order for us to understand or explain salt hydrolysis, we need to make use of a concept of conjugate acids and bases. So, let's do a recap on that. <coughs> now, we know that for weak acids, when they dissociate in solution, they give us, of course, H plus, and the counter ion form will be a conjugate base. So weak acids will give me a conjugate base. A weak base dissociate in solution will give me a conjugate acid. Now strong acid, strong bases when you dissociate in solution, the counter ion forms are neutral. Now with this idea in mind, you can use it to deduce the nature of salts. So one way of dealing with salt hydrolysis is to split the salt into its cation and anion and deduce the nature of each of the ions. So we have examples of these uh, three salts. So how do we deduce the nature of each of these salts? Now one way to deal with it is we treat the salt as the product of an acid-base reaction and from the nature of the acid or base that forms this salt, I can deduce the nature of my ion. So for example, I have my Na plus and my Cl minus. Now Na plus Cl minus is the salt form from the neutralization of my strong acid HCl strong base NaOH. So basically what this means is I have NaOH, sodium hydroxide, reacting with HCl to give me this particle salt. Now how do I deduce the nature of Na plus? Because Na plus comes from our sodium hydroxide. Now sodium hydroxide is a strong base the ion formed from acid base reaction of my solar hydroxide, Na plus is neutral. HCl is a strong acid. The counter ion form for HCl will also be neutral. So, what you notice, Na plus is neutral, Cl minus is neutral, so therefore, sodium chloride is neutral. Now how about CH3CO minus Na plus? The idea is the same, we just treat it as this is a product of salt form from an acid base reaction. CH3CO minus comes from CH3COH. Na plus comes from sodium hydroxide. So we have an acid base reaction between NaOH and CH3COH, giving this salt plus water. Now sodium hydroxide is a strong base. Compound ion form is neutral, so Na plus is neutral. Now CH3COH is a weak acid. Now weak acid, remember the conjugate form or the counter ion form is a conjugate base. Now we have a CH3CO minus which is a conjugate base, Na plus which is neutral. So because of this conjugate base, we will expect CH3CO minus to dissociate in solution to form OH minus. So therefore, this salt is alkaline. Now lastly, we consider NH4 plus and Cl minus. The idea is the same. NH4 plus is formed from ammonia. Cl minus, we get it from HCl. So we have an acid base reaction between ammonia and HCl. We diffuse this particular salt. Now HCl is a strong acid. Counter ion form Cl minus is neutral. Now NH3 is a weak base. So therefore the counter ion form for ammonia, which is a weak base, is conjugate acid. So what we have is we have NH4 plus which is a conjugate acid, Cl minus which is neutral. Because NH4 plus is a conjugate acid, it will dissociate in solution to form H plus. So therefore the solution is acid. If you have enjoyed this video, please share this with your friends. To learn more about H2 Chemistry, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. If you want to know more about my H2 Chemistry classes at Nishan, please visit my website. Thank you for watching H2 Chem Hacks. I hope I've made H2 Chemistry simple for you. I'll see you next time.